Thank you, Chair. Um, my EPP colleague just said we need the facts, not rush into conclusions. I absolutely agree, and therefore it's all the more remarkable that no investigation has taken place at all. Not a single member state has asked the Cybercrime Unit of Europol, the, uh, the, the institution that should be investigating, to investigate. Not even the Dutch government, the country where the main server of switch is located, has investigated. No, the Dutch government says, no, we leave this to uh, a, a working group of experts. These are civil servants meeting behind closed doors and they are told by the Americans everything is fine. Of course we don't break into your service. But there are very strong indications, my dear colleague of the EPP, strong enough indications to not rely on the scout's honor of Mr. Cohen, not rely on the declarations of SWIFT, but to investigate, to actually go to the site of SWIFT, to the service of SWIFT and investigate. Why haven't the Member States asked Europol to investigate? Why do we not insist, why does the Commission not insist that the Dutch Government investigates uh, uh, on the spot what has happened? Because frankly, we have no reason anymore to trust the Americans on their blue eyes. The, the, it's not just media reports, it is documents that have been, uh, that have been uh, retrieved by Mr. Snowden. As a matter of fact, the Americans have never denied that this is the case. The Americans say we have not had unauthorized access to the SWIFT server. But they do say they reserve the right to do so. That in itself is a breach of the agreement. And I very much agree with my colleague Zippel. If we do not decide to terminate the agreement right now, then we should at least suspend it and take the time to investigate. And a final thing, Madam Commissioner and the empty chair of the Council, the usual empty chair of the Council. This is also about something else. This was the very first let's say, serious international agreement that was proved under the, uh, the Lisbon Treaty. This was the first agreement where we were asked for consent. The problem is, once we sign, which is essentially a blank check, we are out of the game. But we will be asked by the Commission and by the Council to give consent to further international agreements. So this is a test case. If this House would adopt a statement calling for the suspension or termination of the agreement and the Commission and the Council do not react accordingly, that means that this House is not taken seriously and will not give its consent to future agreements. This is about the democracy in Europe. Thank you, Mrs. Inveld. Colleague Albrecht, on behalf of the Greens. Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner. I really uh, have to say I'm a bit shocked that you are so uh, um, fine with these answers uh, by the U.S. government. I would just want to repeat what has been